If you haven't been living under a rock, you know that AI is out for music, your job, and world domination. I decided to poke around and see what I could make use of, and I found an app by Hugging Face that allows you to generate music. So I asked that app to create something like Abstract or Knock 2, which sounds something like this. And after an annoyingly long wait time for just a 15 second clip, it created this absolute banger. But after that, I wondered if I could beat AI at its own game. So I decided that the world really needed some more open source software, and I created plugins that already do what a lot of other plugins do. But to assert my dominance over AI, I decided I'd make these basic plugins and create my own song and beat AI at its own game. The only exception I'm giving myself here is that I can use samples that I already have downloaded. But anything that has to be generated or updated is all by my software. So with that, let's jump right into the song. All right, so before we head into the actual song, I figured I'd break down a lot of my plugins. And the first thing we'll do is the big one is the synth. So we'll start up here in the top left. Uh, as you can see, this is our main oscillator. As you can see, there's these soons here. I plan on enter it, uh, creating some FFT visualizers for like the waves or the filter, but uh, that's not important to the actual synth, so I figured I'd have that in a 2.0. Um, so beyond that, you can select what type of oscillator you want. I have four options, sine, saw, square, and triangle. You can only toggle one of these as you go. I'm not going to mess with these at all because I'm on a, so a sound right now. You can change the gain of it, and then the typical ADSR, attack, decay, sustain, release. What is cool that I can show you is when you click on it, you can see the value that it's set to. So I'll put that back up there. Here is oscillator 2, same thing. When you FM the uh, from synth 2 it automatically bypasses a synth 2 and activates an FM filter which or synthesizer which you can use to modulate uh, synth 1 from 0 to 1000 Hertz over here is our filter we have three options a ladder phaser comb and the ladder has three options here for bandpass high pass low pass all that good stuff down here are my two uh, LFOs, they go from a rate of 0.1 hertz to 10 hertz and has the same four options for wave types. Uh, this is the oscillator one, so ADSR and the gain. Oscillator two, same thing, and these will change depending on what filter you're on. So as you see, we go to ladder and then phaser and comb. And that is the gist of the synth. You can bypass a couple of things up here, and this does the overall volume of the synth, and this is just a output, um, just to see what the overall levels and reading and get a general idea of what's going on. So with that, here's the first sound that I made. And on top of it, I'm going to close these one by one. We have an easy distortion on here, maximum distortion, to give it more grit. We have this compressor, which I did follow a tutorial on, so it's not all mine. Um, but we're compressing the mids and the highs here, so it wasn't too harsh. Uh, my reverb, which has a small size, uh, not a lot of reflections, kind of wide and uh, about halfway wet. And then this EQ, which I just cut off some more highs with. Um, so that's that sound. This is similar EQ and reverb. Let's see what this EQ is looking like. Cutting off a lot of lows. This is more of like a bass patch, and I have a sub bass up there that I also created with my oscillator. And then this final one, which is kind of like a square chirpy type thing. Here, I just made some fun noises. I try to make a laser. I guess I made that. Same thing over here. So all together for the lead. I think it's kind of fun. Up here, some crashes and build-ups and some accents to add to the song. Here's a sub bass that I used. So 
So I just try to drive it a lot, as you can see with the filter, added two things of distortion, and then EQ to boost that up once again. I think the only other thing I added on this synth was that uh, there is a saw wave that's adding some more grit to it. And then, of course, the drums, which are all samples. So I did get the chance to do some fun things with that. Added an EQ here to only have the high end to give it some more uh, accents in the top. And then a reverb to take out some of the lower end. So I think it sounded cool what I managed to do here. So that's what it was initially. Yeah, I think it changed it up pretty well for just uh, having a having a reverb and an EQ on it did the same thing here with these cymbals added some more energy to them boost the high end a little bit give it some more flair with the reverb the snare just distorted a bit or a lot a bit And let's see with the kick, more distortion. Give it a little more of a thumpy sound. And yeah, and then throughout here, added some reverb to some vocals. Oh, I guess I'm cheating there. And that is the basis of my tracks. So here's the drop. May not be the most interesting thing you've ever heard, but I bet you it beats that AI song I showed you earlier. Let's do it with a little bit of a build-up, shall we? Probably wouldn't hurt to mix it a little more, but yeah, there's a song created only using plugins I coded myself. Take that, ChatGPT. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in any of these plugins, whether to see the code or to contribute, uh, my GitHub will be linked below. They are also available on Gumroad along with some of my sample packs that I've created. It is name your price, so if you want to pick it up for free, go ahead. But uh, any price you pay for it will be helpful and help me to continue to develop my skills and keep making things that I love to do. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day.